Okay, so I am back in my storage bin with my traveler's notebooks. I know a few of you said that uh, you enjoyed <laughs> seeing all of the notebooks and seeing how I store them. So I thought that I would just kind of go through what I have in here. Now I do have a couple of A5 traveler's notebooks that I'm not using. And some of these, you know, I think I could let go just because I don't, um, I don't have any plans to use them. But then again, you know, who's to say that I may not change my mind. So let me go ahead and pull some of these out and we can talk through them together. Okay, so I pulled out the that I had in in my storage bin and I'm probably gonna put all of these back <laughs> in there after I film this video but first up we have this Webster's pages now I don't know if you all remember but I want to say back in I think it was 2020 Webster's pages had a huge huge sale and I bought a bunch of their TN covers because they were so cheap like I think they were like six dollars or something and I have one in here that as you can see I've never used this is their um, this is their champagne traveler's notebook that I've never set up never used and it's gorgeous but I don't think I'm going to use it so I'm probably going to sell this as a matter of fact, I know I'm going to sell this uh, just because I have too many and when I reach for TNs, uh, this is not one I reach for. And I still have two other Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebooks that I'm not using. Again, there's nothing wrong with them. They are a full leather, they're very affordable, and they're, they're cut very generously so you can really stuff them, you know, without worrying about overhang. But uh, I'm just not going to use it, So, but I did want to share that because I know some of you are curious about what all I had going on in my storage bin. Next up, I have my B6. I think this is called Na Navi Travels, Navi's Travels or something like that. I bought this on Amazon. Again, it was very affordable, and this is a real leather TN. I'm just not using a B6 size right now. I have some inserts from Lime Life Planners, and uh, I do have the inserts set up, but I'm just not using this notebook, and there's nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, I'm just not feeling the B6 size right now. I feel like I need more space, but again, it's a gorgeous notebook, very affordable. Like I said, I found this on Amazon, and I'm sure I will get back into the B6 size at some point and this is I think this is the the navy blue it almost looks black but it's it's really a dark dark blue like a midnight blue so that's that one next I have the I think it's called Filion uh, this is a notebook cover maker and I've done some uh, promotional videos with her before and she has this gorgeous two-toned leather where it's got the gold on the inside and the teal leather on the outside. Um, but this is just a simple A5 and I have an Erin Condren notebook in here and then I have the wellness log. And again, I'm not using this so I probably will end up selling this as well. But uh, it's very good quality, very well made. Uh, again, but I'm just not using it, so that's why it's in storage. All right, so the next couple of ones I have, oh, this one is another A5, and this one is done by Mystic's Little Gifts. Um, I don't recommend her shop anymore. I don't even know if she's still making Traveler's Notebooks. I think she still is, but um, I really like this leather. It was very similar to a Foxy Fix leather, and the notebook is gorgeous. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I love the color. I love the quality, um, but uh, I'm just not using A5TNs right now. 
again, not to say that I won't change my mind and I might, <laughs> and I probably will uh, use them at some point, but um, that's what I've got in here. And again, it's going back in storage until I feel the desire and the need to move into an A5 Traveler's Notebook. This is another Philly, Philion, I think it's called. Uh, gorgeous leather but again this is this is really too small for me and it's like the trifold I think I did try and give this give this a whirl a while ago um, you know it's it's a gorgeous notebook but like I said I just I, I cannot get on with this size um, I was actually considering cutting the flap at one point but so many of you told me not to so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I really like it because I just love the leather but it's just the size that uh, is hard for me to work with so until I decide what I'm gonna do uh, again this one is going back in storage but it, it really is a beautiful beautiful notebook and then finally, I have my Moterm A5 notebook cover, gorgeous. Uh, I even have the A5 notebook, which I still have not opened and used. Um, I just love everything about the Moterm covers. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I have many of the covers in several different sizes, and you really can't go wrong. They're affordable. The quality is excellent. You have a wide range of colors and styles to choose from because they don't only do covers, they also have ringed planners as well. And if you're interested in finding some that, you know, if, if, you're, if you can't find them, uh, go in the Facebook group. There is a buy, sell, trade Moterm group on Facebook. That's where I bought this one. And I think I paid like $50 for this cover and it, I mean, it, it looks brand new, but um, again, I'm not using A5 um, Stology right now, so this will go back in storage until I figure out, <laughs> figure out uh, if and when I decide to use it. So uh, that's a look at all of the notebooks that were in my storage bin. Um, oh, I do have these dilutions and I don't know if I'm gonna use these I just like them I think they're fun I mean but it's not really my style but um, you know they're just really fun and colorful notebooks and they're made out of a out of a stiff uh, canvas so you know they're very friendly if you use paints and markers and all that stuff so I got the orange one and then I found this one on clearance I think at Joanne and this was the blue one and as you can see I've never I've never opened it but I really really love the colors of this one but um, who knows you know I don't really do art journaling but I think these are really good if you do do art journaling because again you you don't really worry about messing messing it up like you would a leather uh, traveler's notebook or a leather binder but I I like the designs even though it's not my style I do think they're fun and so I have these because I know me at some point I may change my mind and at least I will have these in there all right so that is it I hope you enjoyed that look in my storage bin if you have any questions about anything please feel free to drop them down below I want to thank you so much for watching and I will check in with you again very soon